Day two of looking after Chai began relatively smoothly. I awoke refreshed and ready to go, and proceeded out the door of my bedroom, whereupon immediately my heart was filled with joy as I saw that Chai had come to greet me. I thought that perhaps at last our relationship was evolving. I followed Chai down the hallway for what I assumed was cuddles on the couch. I was wrong. It seems that all that Chai wanted was more food. Realizing I would get nowhere without acquiescing to the demands, I proceeded to give Chai more food. Seriously, this cat just does not know when to stop eating. It's kind of scary. Stop, cat. Stop. I left for work, and when I returned home, I assumed that Chai would have missed me, as she hadn't seen me all day. Chai, I'm home! But when I arrived, she was nowhere in sight, until I looked behind me. It seemed that Chai still wanted more food. With growing dread, I realized that our entire relationship was bound to be dependent upon food, and that no love would be given until food was given first. Seriously, this cat is really playing with my emotions. I feel like I want to cry. Why, cat? Why? I observed that Chai would come immediately when I shook her bag of food. With this in mind, I decided to use her addiction to my advantage. I laid out a small trail of her favorite kebble, hoping that she would follow it and eventually come toward a predetermined destination. This combination of food and fun, in my mind, would thus allow us to become closer together. However, as she followed the trail, I soon began to realize that she cared not about the end result, but the food in the trail. Crushed but not defeated, I decided to retire for the day.